Greetings, friends. And welcome back to Pokemon Legends Arceus. Yeah. I'm gonna leave. I don't remember what we were doing. <laughs> yeah. I think we just saw the, the wired deer or were deer, whatever the heck it's called, however you pronounce that. Mm hmm. Hello. <laughs> there you are. Let's hurry to headquarters. Let's not. <laughs> Look who's being punctual. Finally realize you're wasting Almighty Sinna's precious time by bowing to a sham. Who are these colorful characters? <laughs> there you go again, insisting on your false image of Almighty Sinnoh as a ruler of time. My people follow the true Almighty Sinnoh, the font of all creation and ruler of space. Oh, it's like diamond and pearl. Ha, you could have all the space there is and still not know what to do with it. Excuse me? Are you really suggesting that you make better use of your time than we make use of vast history space? Better than some, it's a miracle you showed up on time, oh mighty leader of the Pearl Clan. I worried you'd get lost in the pointlessly vast space so you're you're so fond of and never show up. You get lost in Almighty Sinnoh's great gift of the Pearl Clan in our world's very basis, you wish. I wish that I hadn't let myself get dragged into arguing with you. Almighty Sinnoh, forgive me. What a waste of time. I'm off to Commander Kamado's office. I believe it was you who started this. Mm -hmm. And she's like, what a waste of space. Right. <laughs> I'm team space, you're team time. <laughs> yeah. You can feel the tension when those two show up. You haven't met them, have you? The woman with the reverence, the space is Irida, leader of the Pearl Clan, or Irida. <laughs> the man who is going on and on about time, Adam, and leads the Diamond Clan. The Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan grudgingly coexist at the moment. Apparently, things used to be less peaceful. But the boss, I mean the commander, is waiting. We should have this conversation for after you report to him. You should save this conversation. Uh, save. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have, save. Whatever! <laughs> Same difference. Mm -hmm. See, in this game, Galaxy is good and Pearl and Diamond is bad. <laughs> Innovation. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Game Freak. Whoa. There are some requests posted on the blackboard. Which one will you check? Bothersome Bidoof. It seems a band of Bothersome Bidoof keeps sneaking into the village, causing trouble. Talk to Tsumugi from the security court and see if you can help set things in order. Cool. No other requests. Commander. Oh, am I? He's up there. Okay. Here I go. Yo, what you want? <laughs> oh, Splendid, you came along at a good time. I'm looking for a pickling stone, you see. Would you mind lending me a hand? It needs to be the right size to fit atop one of my pickle pots and heavy enough to put a nice firm pressure on the pickles while they're fermenting, but I suppose it's hard for me to lift such a heavy thing with a pot, blah, blah, blah. The best <laughs> thing would be for the stone to lift itself up, actually. Oh, I have rather a good idea. There's a Pokemon called Geodude that lives on deer track heights. It would be perfect for the job. Could you catch one and bring it back to me? Okay, so you want a Geo, dude? <laughs> Should have just said that from the jump. Right. All this pickling stone crap. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here you are. What do you intend to do about that Cleavor Commander Kamado? He may be descended from a warrior of Almighty Sinnoh, but look at the mess he's causing. We can't sit back and let him rage on. You do get right to the point, Adamin. Time wasted is lost. Well, tell me, what would you have us do? Cleaver is a precious lord of the Pearl Clan, is he not? That's the point. My clan can't intervene directly where a lord of the Pearl Clan's concerned. If my people were to do something, our two clans might end up back at each other's throats, just like we used to be. But even folk of the Galaxy team have been wounded, haven't they? Seems someone's got to do something here. <laughs> <laughs> Who then? Would the Diamond Clan have the Pearl Clan bring down one of its own honored nobles? I don't believe I said that, though, or thought it, maybe. You might as well have said it, you fool. Look, we don't even know what drove Lord Cleaver into such a violent frenzy. I'd like to know that myself. This is as far as far as my clan knows, too. 
Or first is far. <laughs> That's far, far. Hmm. I see you've arrived. Hmm. <laughs> this is Tom, the newest member of our Servant Corps. Aha, uh -huh. here from my, you earned Weird Ear's favor. Good to finally meet you, stranger from the Rift. I'm Adamant, leader of the Diamond Clan, if you want to be formal, but that's a mouthful. Just call me Adamant. What's your name again? <laughs> <laughs> if you came from beyond the space-time rift, could you be from the space where Almighty Sinnoh is said to reside? I'm a Rida, or whatever. <laughs> leader of the Pearl Clan, caution and foresight of my watchwords, which is why I have trouble believing such a tale. Could you really have passed through that rift? I have a proposition. Why not send this one to study Cleaver before deciding what must be done? You send this stranger who supposedly fell from the rift to study Cleaver, this newcomer with no experience? Says the leader with almost no experience. Being a good leader isn't a matter of time. It's a matter of embracing his who is vastness without fear. Well then, here, or there you have it. If, if how new you are doesn't matter, then let's give the kid his chance. God, these sentences. Yeah. <laughs> Our soul commander, let's try this your way. Who wrote the script for this? <laughs> if how new you are. Yeah. That's like weird. Yeah. This should be fun. I'll get to see how good you galaxy folk really are with all your weird ways, putting Pokemon in those strange balls and what have you. That whole practice bothers me. Almighty Sinnoh made his who we bass so Pokemon could live freely throughout. We're meant to stand alongside Pokemon, not count ourselves above them. We do not use Pokeballs from a desire to control our Pokemon, only so that we can live together. Allow us to show you what we can do. This is your mission now, Tom. I order you to study Cleaver and help us find the truth of the situation. I accept. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Anything get to get us out of this room. For real. <laughs> Remember that you are a stranger who appeared one day out of the very sky above us. People are naturally suspicious of your presence here. Been here for a week. Right. If you wish to be fully accepted and trusted, you must work hard. Work yourself to the very bone. Mm. I would if you'd let me. Yeah, just let us go. <laughs> well, that's settled and there's no time like the present. The Lord of the Woods, Cleaver, is descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with almighty Sinnoh's power. No other Pokemon you've yet encountered can compare to his strength, be warned. It's a giant Krigatot. Right. Listen to me. The Galaxy Expedition team has come to the Hisui region as a group of outsiders. Some might even call us interlopers. <laughs> you guys love that word. <laughs> we mustn't do anything to threaten our relations with the Diamond and Pearl Clans, understand? <laughs> Join me downstairs, Tom. We'll cover the details of this new mission. <laughs> Didn't we just cover the details? Right. <laughs> I'm gonna work myself to the bone <laughs> and keep the peace and find Cleaver. Right? <laughs> Silence. Just like, yeah, so you remember. Work yourself to the bone. <laughs> <laughs> Not good. You're already here. Professor Levent in the briefing, if you please. Yes, let's get right to it. So, Tom, I understand you've been requested to find out the cause of Cleaver's friendly state, frenzied state. <laughs> but as you're aware by now, Cleaver is a mighty thing, nigh invincible even. The security corps tried throwing Pokeballs at Cleaver when they were attacked, but I'm afraid they didn't even come close to catching him. He seems he, he's a far trickier opponent than even those aggressive species of Pokemon that cannot be caught outside of battle once they're riled. I'd like to be perfectly clear on this point. This mission will put you in extreme danger to be believe you can handle it. Yes, I'm fine. <laughs> it's just a video game. Very well, then let us go over the particulars. The Diamond and Pearl Clans revere their nobles because they believe these Pokemon serve their almighty sin. They leave offerings to express their gratitude to these Pokemon in locations they call the Noble Seats. So perhaps a good starting point for our research could be finding out what sorts of offerings they normally leave for this cleaver. Tom, we need to speak with you. <laughs> Listen, that rift in space-time seems like it connects this world to a whole other world. That world might be where Almighty Sinnoh itself resides. The true Almighty Sinnoh, that is. The one that rules over time. So if you fell through the space-time rift, that might mean you traveled through time. By Almighty Sinnoh's own power. Think of it, you must have just or been just swimming in its divine might. Well, I've got a favor to ask of you, a sw amazing time traveler. Don't just study Cleaver, quell its frenzy. Well, you certainly caught us a good time, young Adaman. We are just discussing our next steps with regard to this whole Cleaver situation. 
Oh, you must be that Galaxy Team scholar I've heard about. Good to meet you, Mr. Professor. Share some of that knowledge with me sometime. Now let me elaborate a little. God, these guys are <laughs> also chatty. <laughs> Those Pearl Clan types have a lot of respect for Cleaver. You heard his title, Lord of the Woods. I'm sure they'd rather get this under control too, but it's hard for them to come right out and ask those of the Galaxy team of all people for help. And the truth is we in the Diamond Clan have a similar problem on our hands. A Pokemon dear to us off in the mountains has flown into the same type of frenzy as Cleavor. Now there's certainly bad blood between us and the Pearl Clan, but still, we've all got to share Hisui and that means we ought to tackle our problems together. But there aren't many capable of standing up to such powerful Pokemon. You're the best hope we've got. <laughs> Since you've got so many level 10 Pokemon. Right. <laughs> You'll find Cleaver at the Grand Tree Arena. It's at the very heart of the Heartwood. His warden is a boy named Leon. <laughs> Leon is a brilliant child, but also a bit, well, sometimes b brilliance can be blinding, you know. <laughs> He'll tell you all about his beloved Cleaver, whether you wish him to or not. Anyway, I'm sure you're up to the challenge. So we'll be counting on you. See you later. Goodbye. Right. Thank God. <laughs> oh, no, it's not <laughs> over. <laughs> he certainly left quickly once he'd finished talking. I suppose he really values his time. Adam and I weren't wrong, you know. If you're to study and perhaps even quell Cleaver, you best start by visiting his abode. Our new Heights camp will be a handy place for setting out toward Grand Tree Arena. And you should stop by the pastures, too. You'll want to choose the best Pokemon to bring. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> I'm free. Free! <laughs> um, I think I'm going to put Mime Jr. away and mm -hmm. get out Bweasel. <sighs> Finding yourself unable to pick up the materials you come across, Satchel always seeming full... If that sounds like you, you'd be wise to lend me your ear. I don't. I, it's not full yet, dude. <laughs> Talk to me. You can carry around even more in that satchel of yours if you learn the trick to packing things in. I can teach you if you'd like. What do you say? I guess teach me. A <laughs> hundred bucks, whatever. Yeah, just take it. Need space to keep one more kind of item in your satchel. What? Okay. Later, buddy. Yeah, so I guess we can just keep giving him money and he gives us more space or yeah, something. I guess that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> We're playing through like three different RPGs right now, like this Persona 5 Royal and Final Fantasy Tactics, and like God, this game there's like so no slow. There's no voice acting and they're so chatty. Like they don't shut up. Yeah. <laughs> um cannot remember where the thing was to trade out my Pokemon. Oh, the pasture? Yeah. I think that's a way to get over to it if you go over there and then to the left. Um, yeah, like over that way. I think if I go right, that'll take me like out of here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think over on the uh, left is the... Yeah. Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, and uh, straight ahead over the bridge is the normal way that we get out. I'm not sure what that other entrance was behind you. I hate that he only runs for like two seconds. Yeah. And you have to <laughs> click the stick in again. Yeah, I'm gonna... Trade this. What does he got? 54, 45. Oh. This one. Only level four, though. Damn. <laughs> kind of low. Mm-hmm. I just want some type coverage. Yeah. Because there's going to be Geodudes and stuff. Mm -hmm. Now he's running. I guess it's because I'm... Oh. Stop. <laughs> he keeps slowing down. <laughs> Take me away. <laughs> ah, a big weasel. Can Pokemon of the same species really come in different sizes? I know the professor said they do, but I'll have a hard time believing it unless I see different size ones lined up. If there really are big or weasel bigger than mine, I'd love to see them alongside the one I have for comparison's sake. Yeah, mine's small. <laughs> <laughs> and you're a natural when it comes to catching Pokemon, right? I bet you see where I'm going with this. If you catch a weasel bigger than mine, would you let me have it? I'll make it worth your while. 
Yeah. <laughs> but not right now. Shoot, I wonder if there's any Pokemon out here. Is this, oh, this, this must be like, like the, the starting very, arena. Yeah, this is the very starting. God yeah. damn it! I went out the wrong gate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the uh, way we normally go is like across the bridge over there. There it is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> I wish that. Okay, I wish that they had either cut like. 60% of all of these characters' dialogue or had them voice acting half of the lines. Yeah. But I'm like, having you guys repeat the same thing over and over and over again and no one's actually talking is <laughs> annoying as shit. Right. What do you want? Mm. Right, if a Pokemon starts eyeing me, I'll fling an Oran Berry, then run while it's distracted. If I just stick to the plan, I'll be fine. Oh, Survey Corps boy. I was just headed out to the fuel lands to go gather tumble stones, but I haven't got as many Oran Berries as I'd like. Are you familiar with Oran Berries? They restore some HP to Pokemon that eat them. As you might imagine, Pokemon tend to be very interested in them. You see where I'm going with this? Yes, we always <laughs> see where you're going. Throwing Oran Berries is a great way to distract and avoid wild Pokemon. With that in mind, could I trouble you to gather five Oran Berries? Do you see where I'm going with this? Yeah, that's what they I'm about to say. ask you a huge favor. Do you see where I'm going with this? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's so hard to get five berries. I really yeah. need $300,000. <laughs> Do you see where I'm going with this? <laughs> Give me $300,000. <laughs> How are things going, my good friend? They're going. <laughs> I certainly hope you're putting that secret backstrike technique. I taught. Okay, well, for the last 15 minutes, no one in this damn village will shut up. <laughs> so. I would think nothing of it having the survey core. He's giving me super potions. Blah, mm -hmm. blah, blah. Give me super potions. I don't want to read all your lines. <laughs> You're just going to be blabbing. 100 HP for a single Pokemon. Now I must depart. There are ruins calling to me. Great. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, As honestly, we might as well just, like, quit reading most of these <laughs> lines because a lot of them are really just dumb. <laughs> I mean, some of it's important, but most of it's dumb. Hey, I am Adaman, also known as the great and wonderful Adaman, but you can call me Adaman for short. Did right. you get that? Adaman. <laughs> it's like, just shut up! <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have gone here. I should have freaking... Is there a way for me to fast travel to the other one? Um, I, I want to go to the other camp. I clicked on the wrong one by accident. <laughs> I, no. <laughs> Guess you gotta go back and go do it again. Yeah, fine. <laughs> <laughs> I hope we don't have to walk all the way there. That'd be stupid. That would be stupid. I'm leaving. Okay. Heights camp. That's the <laughs> one. I bet there is a way. We just haven't played this game before, so I don't. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and these people are putting me into a freaking. Tizzy with all their non-stop talking. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, weren't there like Geo dudes and stuff out here? Yeah, like all up and down the path. I want to get Weasel to learn Water Gun. Mm -hmm. Come mm -hmm. on, you can climb that. What's that thing? Be a baby. Mm -hmm. You will be mine. Sweet. Nice. Level 14. Nice. That's the <laughs> strongest Pokemon. <laughs> Pep up plant. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't break out. What the heck? Why is that one moving? Maybe there's a Pokemon under it. Like a Geodude or something. Guess we'll see. Yep. Oh! <laughs> this isn't a good uh, scenario. <laughs> um. <laughs> Here. Yeah, you can use Bite. I just don't want Cyndaquil getting rocked by, like, Rollout or something. Yeah. Not a 
time. But I'll take it. <laughs> Jesus. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can cause it to flinch with bite, unless that doesn't have an effect either. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do moves still have effects? I wonder. Yeah, I'm Cause... not sure, and it seems like they switched it up, because like earlier Pokemon were using quick attack on us, and it seemed like it was making us flinch for that. Mm. It yeah. was like, the Pokemon was too startled to move, or yeah. whatever. <laughs> oh, evolve with X, okay. Yeah, evolve, buddy. Nice. I think it said I got a Firestone from that battle. <laughs> or from smashing that rock, maybe. Mm -hmm. Dustox got the idea for a new move. What was the move? <laughs> Can I see the move? Oh, Confusion, sweet. Nice. Right, I'm just gonna play for a couple more minutes and then yeah. I'll call it quits. What is that? Oh, that's one of those vivid choke things. Hmm. More Stantlers. Do you think Syndical can take it or no? I don't know. <laughs> Getting close to leveling up. Mm hmm. Just looking for some more stuff. <laughs> Just jump off. <laughs> I might. <laughs> what was that of... flaming thing over there? A rock? Yeah, it's one <laughs> of those. But why is it shining? That's what I want to know. Yeah. Uh, this might be a huge mistake, but. <laughs> Stanley's keeping its guard up. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Cool. I'll take it. <laughs> nice. Has stardust in there. Sweet. Better run away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not positive, but I thought I saw like a Magnemite or something on the side of the hill down there. There's something white over there. I can't tell oh, what it is. Those are Geodudes. Uh, <laughs> Don't want to deal with that. Oh, a little flower uh, thing. <laughs> Can we get some music? Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of dreary. <laughs> Hey, there's some music. Nice. Well, Cyndaquil is definitely going to level up after this. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Nice. Okay, yes, there are effects. You, buddy. Weasel's already level nine. Nice. Wait, it doesn't say that it can evolve. Mm. Did they change the level for him to evolve? <laughs> I guess. What if it didn't evolve to like level thirty? Or that something would be crazy? bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna look around for like a couple more seconds and then I'll call it quits. Cool. Can I go up this? Mm -hmm. Watch me like fall to my doom. Right. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Ooh, oh, Gyarados. Gyarados. I want it! <laughs> I want Cyndaquil to evolve. That's what I really want. Mm hmm. Oh, I've been Something spotted. Geodude, probably. 
Oh, come on. You're worse than Link <laughs> from Breath of the Wild. Oh, my God. I'm going to try and find a spot where I can stand safely <laughs> and just call it quits. Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much for joining us today, and we hope you'll join us next time. Bye-bye. Have a good one.